Okay, we're taking a look again at alpha, the God number. The fine structure constant, one of the most mysterious modern constants from atomic physicists, and the Great Pyramid, the fine structure con constant in the Great Pyramid. Now, uh, Alan Green, uh, we showed in our last video, wondered if the uh, fine structure constant was in the Great Pyramid because so many other constants like phi, pi, square root of three, Euler, uh, Euler Mascioni, etc., are there. And so he found that alpha is there, and this is how he found it. You can see the two pictures there at the bottom, the, uh, the diagonal across the base and, uh, and the height, those two added together, divided by two sides and the apothem. And that, he says, equals the fine structure con constant. But I showed uh, that it wasn't exactly, you know, in doing the math, I, I showed that uh, this is what you get when you do the division we just showed, but you have to multiply that by 1 over 100, to get the fine structure constant. So you do a Google search for the fine structure constant and you're going to find that, uh, let's go back and look at that, uh, that there it is right there. So you got to have the zero, zero. So I don't think Alan was hiding that. You know, a lot of times uh, people that are, uh, uh, you know, polymaths like him just look at numbers as you can change the decimal point and it's still the same core number, sort of like absolute value kind of thing. But, you know, let's be honest too, Alan, and just dialogue with you here, uh, that if I owe you 50 cents and I pay you five cents, you know, am I straight? Or if I owe you $5,000 and I pay you 50, are we even? So there's a sense in which obviously that doesn't show the fine structure constant. So I suggested in my last video, so if you want a pyramid with a true alpha, the fine structure constant, it needs to be 100th the size of the Great Pyramid. So I said it needs to be that. Well, as someone pointed out on YouTube, and I like to be open to uh, to learning, uh, it would still be the same ratio. A 100 size grade pyramid, like I tried to show here, would still be, would still have the same ratio. And so this wouldn't be what we're looking for. As I said, I made a mistake here because alpha's, uh, you know, ratio based, the larger or smaller period has, has the same 0.729, not 0.00729. You don't solve it that way. But even though I made a mistake, the grade pyramid reveals a number that is one one hundredth of the fine structure constant. And so it's not inappropriate to think about having a pyramid that's a hundred times smaller. That's not, the, but but uh, that, I just want to put out that disclaimer from my last video. That's not a perfect illustration now because that too still suffers the same thing. So that's something for, for, for further research to think about what it really means that the fine structure constant is revealed, but at one hundred times its value in the Great Pyramid. And I've been doing a little thinking on that. Now, the fine structure constant relates to, you know, the world of matter, flesh, protons, neutrons, and electrons, and photons or light. So we're getting this idea, you know, of resurrection, the body going to spirit, you know, the, this uh, kind of this mystical idea here. All right. And of course, the Egyptians are into resurrection. They're into mummies making it to the next life, right? So I showed uh, that, you know, uh, the uh, alpha and omega that I found in the Great Pyramid, uh, it's got the alpha, the omega, and then this, this upside down alpha, the, the V, and that's like the first letter of the four letters that are at the entrance of the Great Pyramid, the Tetragrammatron, pronounced Dabar, which is my last name. It means word or holy of holies. And so again, this is an idea getting us into the idea that there's, you know, something more than life itself possibly here in the Great Pyramid. You know, the alpha and the omega pointing to and so here's, here's today's point about the fine structure con con constant. The space in the king's chamber. Okay. So here's a picture I took of the entrance into the king's chamber. Okay. And uh, here's another picture I took. And so uh, you can't fit the coffer that's in the king's chamber out through that door. Oh, but you can if you turn it sideways. Now, I didn't do a good job on the graphics because that's not exactly sideways, but if you turned it sideways, it would fit out that door. So my friend Alan from Sacred Geometry Decoded put together these graphics, and so we're going, you know, inside uh, the, the king's chamber now, and so you can see that coffer, but let's turn it on its side because remember, that's the way we can fit it in here, and now that we've done that, well, let's just stack them up. Let's see how many we can put in here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so six high. It's six high. Now, what about going the other way? Well, it's interesting. It's exactly five. You got the, you know, this this uh, kind of esoteric number, the six and the five. We've done a lot of programs on the six and the five, the pentagon, the hexagon. And then you've got four rows that totally fill up. And then like a quarter 
that fits there. So when you add it all up, the number of coffers that fit inside the king's chamber is 137.5. Okay, now that's pretty close to the fine structure constant because it's often given as 137, which is the reciprocal of 1 over 37, which is what the fine structure constant really is. But it's, it's not, though. But, but what is 137.5? That's an amazing number that there's 137.5 of these because if you take the golden angle, it's 137.5 degrees. So there's 137.5. And, you know, the green uh, is to the red as the red is to the blue. If it's the golden, it's 1.618 is the ratio. I'm showing it in different ways here. Now, if the circumference of the green circle is 432, and that's an interesting number because the Great Pyramid itself, admitted by many, is a 1 43,200th miniature model, scale model, I should say, of the Earth. And so the 432 relates the Earth and the Great Pyramid, and it's related to the precessional cycle. So if that circumference is 432, then the diameter of that circle is 137.5. So in two, two different ways there, we see this 137.5 which that's the number of coffers that fit inside the, grand, the, uh, the king's chamber. Incredible. But 137.5 is not the fine structure constant. So we're at, are we at a dead end here? Okay, so again, there's the, the fine structure constant, okay, which is uh, 1 over 137. You know, 0 0.00729 is 1 over 137. And its reciprocal is 137, as I said. So those are the two numbers often used to, to talk about the fine structure con uh, constant. So... Uh, this mysterious constant, you know, that, that scientists say, that just read what atomic scientists say about it, like Richard Feynman. It, it's, it's necessary for the universe to exist the way we know it, the way it relates the energy of electrons and the photons they either absorb or admit. So this, this constant, okay, so we take, have 135, 137.5 of these in the king's chamber, but half of this coffer that we're looking at right here is space. Half of that is space. Half of it is in the uh, volume of the granite, but half, the other half of the volume is empty space, okay? So the physical part of the coffer takes up one 137th of the king's chamber. This coffin, the only piece of furniture, really the only accessory in the Great Pyramid, it's bereft of gold, jewels, silver, you know, it's all kinds of any kind of, you know, uh, uh, beautiful marking or like it exists throughout Egypt, the, the beautiful, uh, you know, etchings that are different places. And this is like an industrial room in many ways. And this is the one piece of furniture that's there. And it is one one thirty seventh of the king's chamber. That cannot be by chance. You know, uh, scientists, you know, say that like Carl Sagan, if we were going to send, you know, a, a, a vehicle out into space to try and communicate with other people that might be out there, this is one of the things we'd use. The fact that we have found the fine structure constant, 1 over 137, we'd use it to try and communicate to these people. And look, Hemiunu, the architect of the Great Pyramid, is trying to reach through to us in modern times and say, we knew this. We knew the fine structure constant, 1 over 137 in the king's chamber, and nothingness is 137 of these. Because, you know, if you take the other part of this coffer that's empty, and then all the other emptinesses, it's 137. So the two numbers that are associated with the fine structure constant are here in the king's chamber related to the coffer. And I would say, so, so there they are, the coffer in the king's chamber. So again, the empty coffer seems to symbolize resurrection. There's no body there. The Pharaoh, his mummy, he's made it to the next life. The symbolism of alpha and the fine structure constant, the idea of flesh, you know, electrons, matter, to light, spirit, resurrection. Incredible what the Great Pyramid is saying to us. Knowing the fine structure constant long before modern atomic scientists found it. Interesting, so interesting. Thanks for watching. By the way, so, I'm going to Egypt in October. Because of COVID, you know, we've had smaller tours. And that's fine. I like smaller tours. But things are starting to open up in Europe. And Egypt is safe. You know, when we were there in April, um, you know, there's not as many tourists. You're in the open air. You're outside. You know, so you don't have to be wearing masks out there. And uh, it's just really a wonderful time to go to Egypt. So, you know, in the description below, it'll tell you how you can sign on with our ancient mystery tour. I'd love to have you. Egypt, it sells itself, you know. And uh, so I'd love to, to travel down the Nile with you on our five-star cruise. You know, stay in nice hotels and enjoy the beauty, the mystery of Egypt. So please come with me. Thanks.